The Flash is a student forum produced for students by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the Eastview community. Stay tuned. Hey Eastview, I'm Stoyan. And I'm Mahad, and welcome to the Valentine's episode of The Flash. We have some lovely stories for you this week. Our first stories ask the question, what is love? And the last, what is your story? Stay tuned for, for the, the Flash. Flash. What are you wearing? Oh, gotta dress up for Valentine's, bro. You're at school, and like no one else is dressed this way. What? Are you against love? Not really. I'm just against your outfit. I mean, love is, is like, I mean, wh what is love? Take it away, Lindsay. question that we have to ask you is, what is love? I don't know, that's a big question to ask a 17-year-old. Oh boy, that's, and a, that's a very hard question. I don't know. <laughs> um, caring about people. Really? Is that it? And, um, Liking people so much. How much? Like a hundred percent. Love is when two people feel, have a feeling for each other. Love is like when you care for someone. I like Minecraft 50%. 50%? What about the other 50%? Why don't you like Minecraft 100%? Because I don't really like it that much because they're just I really want to um, uh, do some kinds of glitches, but I can't. Like, I don't know how to do commands, so I can't do commands. Oh, uh, so only 50%? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, loving someone for who they are, not um, for, like, what they do for you. It's, it's about who they are as a person and not um, what they are on the outside. Like, you can love, like, a thing and still have like hard times where you don't want to do it. But at the end of the day, it's still like a thing that you always want to go back to. When you care about someone a lot, you care about how they feel, you care about what they think about. What kind of advice would you give them? The biggest thing I think is just to always try. You should probably be with your family more. Like, just do it, you know? Don't let social media affect you and your true feelings to that person or to your friends or whoever you love. Uh, talk to your friends more and try like asking if uh, they're still your friend. Be yourself and don't put up a like fake persona when you want to show love or receive love. See, love is when you care about someone. I think you're just using love as an excuse for like wearing the wrong outfit to school. No, love is special. Are you special to who? Uh, to like, to, uh, all right, well, Kayla has a story. We ask seniors what they think love is. What is love? Oh, love is, what is love? Oh, help. <laughs> <laughs> It means always being there for someone. It's eternal. It's God from love. It's from God. And it's, it's something that just absorbs the body. When I think of my wife, it just absorbs my body. 
Well, I was married many years to my husband and uh, everything he did for me and I did for him and it was wonderful. Yeah. And uh, we were married about 45 years. Love is when you love someone that's special and caring and you can love her. I don't know. Just love everybody up and take care of them. That's all I can think about. I think I'm like really starting to get what love is now. You know, love is special. It's in everyone's lives. It kind of reminds me of this thing Fornacoy used to say. It's something like everyone has a story. Chase, take it away. Um, I performed with the marching band at the state championship and since it was my birthday it was really special because it was my 18th birthday and being with all the people that make me happy and doing the activity that I love the most for the last time, last significant time, was just really meaningful and having everyone wish me like a happy birthday and just like we're a very like together group and so it was just very nice to be with them. Watching my son play college basketball or just being able to watch him just live out his dreams and be happy, that's something that really makes me happy. I'd like to say it was figuring out um, my passion, I guess. It was um, computer science or just programming in general. I have a truck right now. I always wanted a truck since I was a kid. But, um, you know, I kept working. Even in, uh, when I was a senior in high school, I would have worked those late shifts. It paid off. I mean, I have my truck, my dream truck right now. So. <laughs> So there's, it starts with a lot of coincidences, for sure. Uh, I started in Iowa. I've just been in the food service industry my whole life and trying to find my way out of that right now. <laughs> uh, as of now, just like somebody just like trying to find themselves, like truly. Like I don't think I've really like found myself yet. Growing up, Christmas was always super special, um, just by the traditions my family had. And so the amount of like magic and happiness that I felt coming down the stairs with my siblings and seeing the presents and uh, checking the stockings and the cookies and lighting up the Christmas tree and like a fire in the fireplace. Mahad, what are you listening to? I'm listening to Cupid by Sam Maduro. Sam didn't write that? He, he's writing it right now. <laughs> Stay tuned for the credits. Hey guys, my name's Cupid. And, and, I'm, and I'm Sam. <laughs> and we're gonna be going around East View asking people their opinion on Valentine's. Let's go. All right, can we get your name? Charles Matthews. Ed. Emerson Block. Um, Emerson, how do you feel about Valentine's? Um, I'm not a fan, personally. So you don't like the holiday, you just don't I care just about don't it. care. Do you have a Valentine's this year? Uh, Sam Oduro. Um, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs>